a little bit more about Mark Few here as he's obviously honored as the AP Coach of the Year. What are the chances that those who say that, you know, Gonzaga doesn't play anyone and because of the conference that they come out of and all of these knocks against them are silenced as critics? I think it, it really compares a lot to me with what uh, Brad Stevens was able to do at Butler. I mean, Mark Few can elevate, you know, his his name, his status, his program status, if they can win this game and get at least to the title game. I mean, there, there's no hiding the fact that, that the West Coast Conference, when we talk about conference uh, RPI, it is down. And it is down below the Missouri Valley. It, it is down below the American. It was 10th at the last rankings that I saw. Um, and that, that's very real. Uh, so for Gonzaga to kind of rise and put that behind them and that, that stigma, I think getting a title game would go a long way in doing that, much like Butler did. But Butler now is in the Big East. I mean, third best college basketball conference in the country, arguably. Um, so, so it was what they were able to do in getting into those title games and getting into the Big East to help elevate that program. And then the same with Gonzaga in terms of what they've been able to do in the West Coast Conference. So uh, it, it's there's no denying that I think that that stigma is still there. I think that win over West Virginia kind of answers some questions for me. Uh, the WCC tends to be a conference, having covered it the last couple of years, a, a real finesse at times type conference. Uh, and so to be able to battle and hang with a, a battle-tested Big 12 opponent in West Virginia and come out on top, I think, said a lot to me. Now if they can win that next game and get to a title game, I think that will further elevate and legitimize the program at Gonzaga.